Kumusta kayong muli? Ito na naman tayo. Atin ang ituloy ang lesson 2 of 3 para sa week 8 ng grade 5 mathematics. Ang pamagat naman ngayon, equivalent ratios. Handa ka namang matuto? A ratio is a relationship between two numbers or items, usually involving some kind of measurement. For example, when people drive, they travel at a certain speed. We usually refer to that speed as miles per hour. That is a ratio because it shows a relationship between distance and time. After going through this lesson, you are expected to identify and write equivalent ratios. Study the pictures below. There are ratios that can be formed based on pictures. The first one is 8 is to 10 or 8 to 10. And 4 is to 5 or 4 to 5. You can write the given ratio in fraction form such as 8 to 10 or simply 4 to 5. Now, what is the relationship between the two ratios in the previous part? Let us reduce the ratios to lowest terms by dividing the both terms of each ratio by their GCFs. Sa ratio na 8 is to 10, ano ang GCF ng 8 and 10? Ang GCF niya ay 2. So let us divide 8 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2. The answer is 4 to 5. 4 to 5 is already in lowest term. So, 4 to 5 is equal to 8 to 10. In the equality of ratios, A and D are called extremes, while B and C are the means. A to B equals C to D. A and D are the extremes, while B and C are the means. For column form, A and D are the extremes, B and C are the means. In the equal ratios, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Using the equal ratios above, we can see that the product of the means 10 times 4 equals 40 is equal to the product of the extremes 5 times 8 equals 40. Ito yon. 4 times 10 equals 40 and 5 times 8 equals 40. For learning task 1, write equal sign in the circle if the given pair of ratios are equal and not equal sign if not. Write your answer in your notebook. Sagutan natin ang number 1. 64 is to 12 equals 80 is to 15. Let us multiply both extremes and that is 64 times 15 equals 960. Then, multiply the means. 12 times 80 equals 960. So, 64 to 12 equal to 80 to 15. 
Atin namang sagutan ang number 5. 14 to 40 equals 9 to 24. Let us multiply 14 times 24 and that is 336. While 40 times 9 equals 360. Therefore, number 5 is not equal. For item 6 to 10, let us answer number 6. 8 to 12 equals 10 to 15. Let's multiply 8 times 15 equals 120. And 12 times 10, 120. Therefore, number 6 is equal. Para naman sa learning task number 2, fill its box with the correct number that will make equivalent ratios. Write your answers in your notebook. Ating sagutan ng number 1. Gawin nating n ang nawawalang number. n to 7 equals 24 to 56. So, let's multiply n times 56, that is 56n. And 7 times 24 equals 168. Para makuha ang value ng n, ating i-divide ang 168 divided by 56. And that is 3. So, n is 3. Para naman sa 6 to 10, ating sagutan ng number 6. 11 is to blank equals 330 to 450. So, ang missing number ay gawin ulit nating N. 11 is to N equals 330 is to 450. Let's multiply 11 times 450. That is 4,950. Then, N times 330 equals 330N. So, let's divide 4,950 divided by 330 equals 15. So, the missing number is 15. Para sa learning task 3, solve the given problems, write your answers in your notebook. Ating sagutan ng number 1, two numbers are in the ratio 2 to 3. If the bigger number is 6, what is the smaller number? So sa number 1, mayroong pattern. Small is too big equals small is too big. So, ang first and second term is 2 to 3 equals n to 6. Kasi ang nawawala ay what is the smaller number? So, let's multiply 2 times 6 equals 12. 3 times n is 3n. Then, let us divide 12 divided by 3. And the answer is 4. So, the smaller number is 4. Let us answer number 2. What number compared with 8 is the same as 6 compared with 24? So, ang first term ang nawawala. So, n is to 8 equals 6 is to 24. Let's multiply n times 24 equals 24n. Then 8 times 6 equals 48. Then 48 divided by 24 equals 2. So the number is 
Maraming salamat muli sa pagsama nyo sa video ito. Isang video na lang at makukumpleto na natin ang grade 5, quarter 2. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!